You are aware that you've been having a, an emotionally bad period of time. What you are saying without even realizing it is, I've been practicing the vibration of the problem so intensely that I am oblivious, I am blind to, and most important, I'm out of reach of the solution. That's what it means. You cannot find a solution when you're knee deep, hip deep, eyeball deep in the problem. You just can't. You've got to find some way of putting some distance between you and the problem. And we are talking about a vibrational difference, but you've got to find a way to do it. Maybe it means walk away from it. Maybe it means change the channel. Maybe it means listen to some music. Maybe it means go get a massage. Maybe it means hang around with different friends. Maybe it means sleep a little more. Maybe it means meditate for sure a whole lot more. Maybe it means make more lists of positive aspects it could mean any number of things both action oriented or focus oriented but what it means for sure is if you are aware that you've been feeling more depressed than happy or more sad than happy or more overwhelmed than exhilarated or more angry than joyful if you are leaning in those directions what it means is you've been letting the environment around you train you into a vibration that is not natural to you and that's the thing that we so want you to hear it's not natural to you it's good for you to feel good and it's natural for you to feel good this is what you had planned you said I'll take a part of this energy that is me into a physical body and I will explore an environment that will cause an inspiration of improvement and when that inspiration flows forth from me as a result of my exploration of contrast I will train myself into vibrational alignment with that furthest reaching aspect of me you see, when you launch a rocket of desire, the source within you rides that rocket and became, becomes the vibrational equivalent of what you have asked for. Do you get that? Do you understand that you are source energy, even though you are here in this physical body? Do you accept that there are two vibrational aspects of you? You're awfully quiet. Do you accept that? <laughs> Do you understand that there is a vibrational aspect of you that you can feel your relationship with? Do you understand what your emotions are? Did you hear what we said and does it resonate with you to some degree? Don't you know that when life gets better and better and better, it's always because you're forward looking. And by forward looking, we mean looking in the direction of that vibration that has emanated from you. You see, here's the thing that we know as vibrational beings that most of our physical human friends don't get at all. You're so involved in the translation of vibration and you do a magnificent job of it through your vision, through your ears, through your nose, through your fingertips, through your tongue. You're translating vibration to such an em emphatic, precise degree that you've got this reality now that you're really hung up on. You're so hung up on the reality that exists that you're all but ignoring the vibrational reality that is the precursor to everything that is to come in terms of manifestation but it is the evidence of everything that is in terms of your evolution this vibrational reality that you have been creating long before you got into this body and contributing to ever since this is the vibrational reality that equals who we all are as non-physical beings and it is the larger part of who you are so when you focus upon the money in your bank account today while we get it that the realists want you to do that that those people who are objectively exploring the content of your physical reality they want you to say look this is what is and we want to say to you in a way that you will never forget it no 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 that is what was because what is is over here in this vortex what is is the vibration of who you really are and if you don't figure out how to become right now right now in this moment 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 a better vibrational match to what is you can't be joyful you can't be hanging around in what was and you say hey, Abraham how can you call I just looked online I'm looking at my current bank balance and you're telling me it's not current and we say not even close to current 
what's current is what you have amassed vibrationally and you say but Abraham I can't spend vibration and we say you haven't tried you haven't even begun to try you are not cashing in your vibrational currency you're not you're hanging around most of you over here outside the vortex outside the vortex where everything that you want and everything that you've become is you're hanging around outside the vortex and complaining about what is and we say it's old news let it go let it go because you know when you had that gut-wrenching realization that you didn't have enough money you put more vibrational financial currency into your vibrational reality you did and if we can convince you today of the reality of this vibrational reality and of the real timeness of this vibrational reality and of the present tenseness of this vibrational reality and we can convince you in some small part to make a decision that you want to find a new addiction you want to find a new addiction to the good feeling emotions that you only ever find when you're focused in your vortex or looking in the direction of it if we can convince you of the validity and the existence and the reality the real-time reality the furthest most reaching reality of who you have become and you are willing to not need to defend what is because it's old news anyway what you're going to discover is as you begin to hang around more in this vibrational sphere fully connected with the wholeness of who you are you will be able to look at reality as it now exists feeling only love and appreciation for it because it was the other side of the wave that equaled this which is who you are you see now we know as physical friends explore the fullness of who you are over time you have summoned a lot of fairy tales analogies parables examples to try to help you to wrap your thoughts around who you really are it's big who you really are and we know that as we stand here in Esther's body using Esther's ability to decipher and translate our blocks of thoughts into this language that you are hearing we know that as you watch us wave Esther's arm in a circle and call it the vortex and continue to point at that spot on the floor and call it something that you need to get excited about we know that that stretches the boundaries of your reality based world we know that it does but it is our promise to you that as you hear what we know you will find resonance with that larger part of you who knows it too and as you feel the resonance with our description of these laws of the universe and our description of who you are and how you fit into the larger scheme of things as you listen to our description of what your emotions are and why you feel the way you do as you hear our description of this vibrational relationship between this physically focused you and this non physically focused you as you listen to these words you will begin to feel the absolute resonance of that knowing because the larger part of you is this knowing and knows this knowing and is offering it to you never endedly and as you listen and find resonance you'll come into the vortex at least periodically during this time that we are here together today and what you're going to notice as you come into this vortex is that not only do the things that we say make sense but things that you've been living come into full vivid form for you so that you have an understanding of what's being said here in other words words do not teach at all it's only life experience that teaches but as you feel the resonance in other words as we lure you inside this vortex and you get up to speed with the full knowing of who you are everything about your life will begin to make sense to you not only everything about your life but everything about everybody else's life also you live in a universe we all do that is based upon this powerful law of attraction and what that says is there is a frequency that you are emitting based upon the thought that you are thinking right now 
that is accompanied by an emotion that is an indicator of all of that but this thought that you are thinking is causing a vibrational emission that universal forces basically the law of attraction is responding to in other words you're getting back what you're giving out vibrationally so if something is really bothering you and you're giving it a lot of attention you are getting more evidence of it because of the attention that you're giving to it now you knew that when you came and you didn't see that as a bad thing because as we were just explaining to you the bigger the problem becomes the bigger the solution becomes too but if we were standing in your physical shoes we would ask ourselves the question all day every day how much attention to the problem is the perfect beneficial amount in other words how much of a solution am I wanting to give birth to today because when you get out of balance between your problems and your solutions you get overwhelmed and then things begin to fall of their economic weight you get overwhelmed and then you lose your physical balance in other words your physicality your well-being your financial well-being the clarity that you feel in any moment everything about your experience is based upon your ability to balance this contrasting world in which you have deliberately focused yourself we are here to say to you that we think that you are doing extremely well you have come forth at a time when for the most part what you are living is in balance but we know you to be as a result of your assembling here with us today those who are fine-tuning your experience those who want to be deliberate creators those who are no longer willing to just observe what's going on around and create by default we can feel that you want to direct your thoughts and we know that sometimes you get frustrated because it feels like in an avalanche of a negative thought it's hard for you to find a thought that takes you into the vortex we just want you to know that it's not only possible it's probable it's who you are you were born to direct your thoughts by paying attention to the way you feel so we'll talk about it all day here today it's our expectation that you will find yourself in the vortex over and over and over again it's also our expectation that as a result of this conversation that we experience together here today that we will undoubtedly take thought to places that it has not been before and it is also our expectation that large numbers of you will find resonance with that new thought and you will experience the deliciousness of what we are calling real-time living in other words part of a conversation that gives birth to a new thought that you are in the moment already up to speed with when you're up to speed with the new thought you are riding the crest of the wave in the process of creating just like you knew you would when you made the decision to come into this physical body to begin with not one of you said I'll go forth and suffer into expansion <laughs> every one of you said I'll go forth and think into expansion I'll explore and I will come to conclusions and I will focus upon the best conclusion that I'm able to conjure as I move along I will be a deliberate creator that's what you said and we're here to remind you that you said it and that you meant it and show you how easy it is to do it